The first card you have for your past is the Three of Cups. I'm actually seeing, um, I'm seeing things coming into reality or things that were manifested coming into reality. What I'm looking at is down the bottom of this card, there's all sorts of fruit and oranges and there's a pumpkin, all sorts of things like that. It's like a harvest at the bottom and these three women are actually enjoying their wine that have come from these grapes from this harvest. So what I'm seeing is that you've actually worked really, really hard and you've, you've achieved a whole lot of things. And, you know, it takes time to grow these things. It takes a lot of work to grow this harvest. And I'm seeing that it's taken you a lot of time to grow this thing and achieve whatever this thing is that you've manifested. And this is an ongoing manifestation. I'm not seeing this as something that's just a one-off. This is something that you're going to keep on achieving. And I'm also seeing that there was a time where, at this time, um, you could have been feeling a little bit unsure of yourself, maybe worrying about your own abilities. And, you know, at this time, then you are starting to realise after that, that you actually have achieved quite a lot, which you have. Look back and see what you've achieved. You've achieved a lot. Don't look back and think, oh, I'm not really good. Am I going to be able to keep going? All of this kinds of things. So I am seeing this worry around you that you're thinking, am I going to be able to achieve this again or keep on going or do more things? And there is more to come. You will be able to achieve more. I'm seeing that. But yes, this is about you recognising your abilities and achievements and not being so down on yourself, realising that you have actually done a lot. You've, you've achieved this great harvest. You've done a lot of things. And, you know, you're looking at how far you've already come. And so do that. Look at that. And, you know, think about that. I mean, people say, oh, I won't rest on my laurels. I won't rest on what I've done. I'm going to go ahead and do more. Yes, go ahead and do more. You will do that. But recognize what you've done. You've done a lot. Look at this. Look at this beautiful harvest. Look at this wine. Look at these grapes and everything else. This is what you've done. And the other thing I'm seeing with this card is that, you know, maybe you went off track for a while and then came back to what you felt happier with, more familiar with. That's what I'm seeing. And realizing that the, the process you used to get you this harvest, to get you this manifestation was a really good one. And you're going to keep on using that as well in the future. You're like, you know, I tried to go off track. I thought of all these different things I wanted to do. And... I'm just realizing that what I was actually doing was good all along. It's like, you know, no place like home, that kind of thing. And I'm seeing that with your work process. I'm also seeing that with people that maybe you try to um, branch off with some other people that didn't quite work out or something like that. And then you realized what I have around me, the people I have around me, I'm comfortable with them. I'm happy with them. I'm going to go back to what I know. So that's what I'm seeing with that card. Um, the next card you have, you passed, is the Knight of Cups. So yes, I'm actually seeing this is about wanting to get close to someone. It might not be just one person, it might be more than one person. Because I do see that you do have this kind of, you want to get close to people and then you're not sure about it. It's that kind of going backward and forward feeling um, that I have around this card. This could be about a relationship that you actually you kind of want to commit to, but you're not sure about, or it could be uh, that you want a relationship if you're single, but you're not sure about um, going, doing, having that commitment, going far in that, doing that, doing what's necessary to actually have that relationship. It might be something like that. And, um, or it could just be people in general, that you want to get close to people in general. You wanted to at this time, that you're a little bit, um, Afraid in a way, there was something you were afraid of, afraid to commit or afraid to come closer. So if you look at this knight in this card, he's totally in control. He looks like, you know, he's beautifully dressed, he's polished, he looks perfect. And he's on one side of the stream and he's looking at the other side of the stream. And you can see these big um, rugged mountains on the other side of the stream. And he's thinking, am I going to cross over that stream? Am I going to commit to something or someone? Um, or am I going to stay here? I think I'd be better off staying here because if I go over the other side, I'm going to wreck my beautiful clothes and I'm going to fall over and I might get holes in my clothes and I might hurt myself and my horse might be injured and all these terrible things might happen. And you're thinking that, or you are thinking that, if I commit, if I choose to commit to someone, if I choose to get involved with someone, or if I choose to move to the next level with someone, 
I might be hot. I might fall over. I might not be myself. I'm really afraid. And it's this kind of standing on one side of um, the stream and not wanting to go over to the other side. That's what I'm seeing um, with this card. So yes, the last card you have your past is the Ten of Wands. So yes, again, this is showing me a similar thing. Again, I'm seeing that. This man wants to move forward. He wants to move up. He wants to go forward into this beautiful house. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'll move this up. I don't like messing these cards up, but I will do it. I've started doing this now, so here we go. So you can probably just see in the bottom right hand corner, there's a beautiful home, a beautiful garden around it, beautiful trees, everything like that. And this man's walking toward that. And this is what you want. You'd actually like to commit. Deep down, you'd like to commit to someone or you'd like to commit to people or you'd like to, you know, make new friends or you'd like to do this thing. This is about people. You would like to do that, but then you're afraid. You have all these things in your head. You have all these wands in your head stopping you from doing this, making it really slow, making it really hard for you. Look at that. You want to move toward this thing deep down you're thinking i really want someone i really want to move forward with someone or i want this closeness with someone but i have these wands in my head stopping me telling me that i can't and they're making it slow and i can't see through them and i can't get to where i want to go so try to think about what you do really want do you want to be alone do you want to commit or not you know if you don't then you know just just stop and be by yourself that's fine but if you do move forward try and drop these wands try and move forward and be yes you will have to be vulnerable you will have to open up you will you might open yourself up to these rugged mountains and being hurt and getting holes in your clothes and all these things you might you might that's a risk you're going to have to take but if you want that you're going to have to take that risk if you're going to want to move forward with someone have a relationship whatever it is this risk is that you're worried about you are going to have to take a risk. You are going to have to drop the ones. You are going to have to drop the ones so you can see where you're going, so that you are going to have to cross the pond. Yes, it's not easy. That's what you're going to have to do. That's what I'm seeing with that card. I won't say any more about that. I'm going on and on about it. The first card you have your present is the hand man. The hand man. So I'm actually seeing that Yes, there could have been someone around you who, I'm seeing this is in your, someone in your more distant past, but you were thinking about them at this time. There's someone who, they were good at telling you stories. They were good at telling you what they wanted. They were kind of a little bit manipulative. They were saying things to get where they wanted to go. And they wanted to carry you along with them so that you would kind of facilitate what they wanted. It's that kind of thing. And they're actually spinning stories and saying, oh, this is a great idea. This is a great opportunity. Oh, this is good. You should do this. Come with me. I'll show you how to do this. I'm fantastic. And parts of you at the time, this is what I'm seeing because I'm looking at this hanged man. Now, part of you thought, now my instincts are telling me I should not do this. I should not do what this person's telling me to do. But you didn't follow your instincts. Look at this. You're upside down with the hanged man. You were seeing things in the wrong way. Your instincts were telling you, look the right way up. This is the right way to go. Do not go with this person. But you actually didn't follow your instincts. You were looking at things upside down and you went with this for a time. And I'm also seeing that this person had something hidden from you. Maybe they were manipulating you or something like that. Maybe they were telling you these stories and that wasn't actually what their intentions were. Because I'm looking at this hanged man, he has his hands behind his back. So this is, you know, when you have a little child who's stolen the chocolates or something like that, they have their hands behind their back and they're looking a little bit guilty. So that's what I'm seeing happened with this person. But I'm seeing that you did learn from this. You did learn from this. You did learn that, you know, you can't just take what people say as being truth. But this might be one of the one of the reasons why you're a bit afraid to move forward. You're a bit af afraid to commit. You're a bit afraid to commit to people in general because this person did um, did hurt you, manipulate you in some way and, you know, not tell you the truth. They're a bit dishonest. The next card you have, your present, is the Three of Wands. Yes, here we are. Don't let this situation, this was a bad situation you're in with this person in the hanged man. Don't let this stop you from getting close to other people. Don't let this stop you. This is a message telling you that. There are people around you, there's some good people coming toward you. If you look at this, um, if you look at the sea, this man's looking out to sea, 
there are three boats coming toward him. Now they're right in the distance. They're right far into the distance. They are very, very slowly coming forward, very slowly. So he's looking out to that. That shows me that whoever these people are, that are good people for you to get close to, might not be showing themselves to you. They might be quiet people. They might not be people you notice straight away because they're right far out where these ships are. But look at this sea, it's golden. Look at this sky, it's golden. What you're doing is you're standing on the edge of this beautiful golden sea. You don't want to jump into it. You don't want to commit. You're a bit afraid of being hurt. Again, this is the same message. If you want to get what deep down you truly want, which is to be close to people, to branch out into new areas, to make new friends, to, to commit to someone if that's what you want to do, or to have a relationship if you're single, if that's what you truly want, you're going to have to jump in to the water. Don't stand on the edge. Don't just stand there. Jump in. It's golden. It's beautiful. You can see it's beautiful. It's not cold. It's not scary. It's fine. Yes, it might be a little bit. You might feel a bit strange. You might not be used to it. You might have to dog paddle around a bit, wave your arms around. You'll be fine after a while. You'll get used to it. It will be fine. If that's what you want, jump in. That's what I'm seeing. Look at this man right on the edge. He, and he wants to jump in. Look how passionate he is. He has this red cloak on. This means passion to me. This is what you'd like. This is what you'd like. So do it if that's what you'd like. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have for your present is the Two of Pentacles. So yes, you're feeling undecided. This, this undecidedness, this could be around a specific person because I was actually seeing a specific person in the um, Knight of Cups. And this kind of, there's a kind of a backwards and forwards thing going on between you and someone else. That's what I'm seeing. Um, it's like you move forward a little bit and then back off. They move forward a little bit and back off. So they might be like you. They might be afraid to come forward, afraid to commit or something like that. There's this hesitation here, wanting to come forward and moving back again, wanting to come forward and moving back again. That's what I'm seeing with this. So yes, if this person, if you really do like this person, you don't have to be, oh, I'm so in love with this person. If you really do like with this like this person, just move forward a little bit to them. Just speak to them. Just come forward. Get to know them. You might not like them. Okay, you might not like them, but get to know them. You don't know unless you know them. That's what I'm seeing with this person. I'm seeing this as an early start with someone that you're thinking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first card you have for your future is the Ace of Swords. So yes, this is a really good time for you in your future. I'm seeing you being really clear with your words at this time. I'm seeing you being really mentally strong at this time, really eloquent with the way that you're going to be speaking to people, even commanding, even commanding things. I'm not seeing demanding. It's not like you're going to say, do this, every, but you're commanding. You're commanding what you want. You have this commanding presence, or you will at this time. I'm just seeing this crowd. There's nothing more commanding than a king or a queen. You're going to be commanding. People are going to be listening to what you have to say at this time, really taking in what you have to say. It's like you're almost going to have some sort of an authority, authoritative kind of way of speaking to people um, on things or whatever the subject is that you know about. You have a lot of knowledge about something. Someone could be coming to you, someone could be talking to you about a confusion or a difficult situation that they have. You're going to be able to help them. You're going to be able to cut through their problems. You're going to be able to help them. And I'm seeing you actually um, telling them that they can be like this too. They can have this commanding presence. They can get what they want. Because I'm seeing someone around you is a little bit down. I'm seeing at this time you're going to be kind of helping them in your own way, in your kind of forceful commanding Aries way. You're going to say, come on, let's go. Let's come on. Come out of this. Step out of this. Come on. You can do this. That kind of thing. That's what I'm seeing you doing. The next card you have for your future is the King of Cups. So yes, I'm seeing that someone around you, someone around you is going to be controlling their emotions. They're not going to be showing you how they're really feeling. So this could be this person in the Two of Pentacles that comes backwards and forwards. It could be this person in the Knight of Cups. That I'm seeing, I'm seeing a number of different people, or they could be the same person. I'm just seeing this backwards and forwards and not wanting to commit, being afraid. I'm seeing that all the way through your reading. So yes, this person again, this person's not going to be showing you their emotions. And I'm seeing someone who doesn't want to show you kind of how they feel. They're a little bit 
They might be wondering how you feel, so they might not be moving forward for that reason. Might be something like that. They do have some strong feelings towards you. They really, really do. They have some strong feelings um, anywhere where there's red. And they do want to come forward. If you look at the background of this um, King of Cups, there's a red ship in the back of him. So red is passion and the ship wants to move forward. This boat wants to move forward. And, you know, this person does want to move forward towards you, but maybe you're giving them these kind of mixed messages because you are doing that. You don't, you're afraid to move forward. So maybe they're sensing that and that's what they're picking up from you. But they want to, if they want to, I'm seeing that. But they're not showing you their emotions at this time. They're a little bit afraid, a little bit wary of you. And yes, this king is above the water, so he's keeping on top of his emotions. And I'm also seeing that you have some clarity. You're having some clarity in other areas of your life as well um, at this time. I'm seeing again with this Ace of Swords. And, you know, there's still this awkward situation happening between you and someone else. Again, I'm seeing someone might be sensing your hesitation, sensing you're a bit afraid, and that might be kind of um, rubbing off on them or something like that. Because that happens. People can sense, if you feel a little bit hesitant, they might sense that and they might and they might think, well, this person might not be interested. They're kind of pulling away or something like that. And... Um, Yes, they're taking cues from you. They're going to be taking cues from you. That's what I'm seeing. I'm not actually seeing any... Um, yes, they're sensing this sort of... They're sensing that you're kind of a bit hesitant and they're seeing that as a bit of a negative. That's what's going to be happening at this time. So, yes, again, if you want to move forward with this person, do it. Do it. Go and speak to this person. It doesn't matter if it's not the love of the century. Just get to know them. You might like them, you might not like them. Don't be so stressed about this. You're so stressed. Look at the Ten of Wands. That's how you are. And you're still like that in the future. The last card you have, don't be stressed. You're the king. You've got the Ace of Swords. You've got the crown. So yes, the last card you have in your future is the Eight of Cups. So yes, you might slowly start to move away from this person. It might be that you're you are afraid and this kind of takes over. It might be that you just decide you don't want to be around this person or that you, you know there's something around about them you don't like or something like that. They might be feeling this way about you as well. Um, I'm seeing that you're going to move apart for a while. You're just going to come away. And people often look at this card and they say, oh, it means that they're walking away forever or you're walking away forever. I never see that with this card. I always see this man coming around the mountain, walking around and coming back again. That's what I always see with this card. And the other thing I see is that, you know, the um, the water's flowing down to the cups, the water's flowing down, back around, back around into the cups, back around into that wall of cups. So that's why I always see coming back around with this card. So you might kind of have some time of separation with this person. You might not speak to them for a while. You're going to be busy anyway. I'm seeing that. You're going to be very commanding with the Ace of Swords. And, you know, but you are going to come back. You are going to speak to this person again. I'm seeing that. 